Is Super Mario Galaxy 2 coming to Nintendo Switch? Especially in lieu of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Plus, hey, we all know about a couple of the hints that exist in Super Mario 3D All-Stars. For those who don't know, there's a certain jingle in the game that is directly from Mario Galaxy 2 that happens when you boot up the game. Uh, and obviously there's been some hints and some potential thoughts about DLC, even though it's a limited release. Uh, and just a whole bunch of uh, hullabaloo out there about how Mario Galaxy 2 could be coming to Switch or coming to 3D All-Stars. We've thought about this. We've talked about this. Heck, it might have originally even been planned for the game at one point. But here's the deal. Is it actually going to come? Let's talk about that first by talking about our giveaways. We have a Nintendo Switch, an Xbox Series X, and a PlayStation 5 giveaway going on right now, plus another giveaway for two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. You can enter by checking things out down in the, down in the description, commenting, liking, uh, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. We are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. If we can somehow, for some miracle, hit 100K, like right now or really in 2020, uh, we will have a massive 100 plus winner giveaway happening in January with over $1,000 worth of stuff. Yes, folks, I'm trying to give back to my community as much as I can. But hey, we got to hit some stretch goals here. 100K in 2020. All right. So I was reminded about Mario Galaxy 2 uh, and the Switch conversations mostly because of an a, uh, article that was brought up during a live stream last night. But the thing is, the article itself isn't really evidence that Mario Galaxy 2 is coming. Uh, but it does bring up some interesting points. And this article is at DashGamer.com, a website I literally have never heard of. It's written by Dan Rizzo. It was written actually back at the beginning of September. But as I was um, reading all of this, uh, the, the, this entire article here, it, it kind of came to my attention that, you know, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is this limited release, right? It ends on March 31st. They remove it digitally, remove it physically. Then again, Jump Rope, um, the Jump Rope game was supposed to be gone as well at the end of September, and it's still available on the eShop. So this is kind of one of those things where Nintendo is saying that they're going to be done with it on March 31st. But if there is still high enough interest in the game, I have a feeling it's going to be around physically and digitally much longer than Nintendo is currently saying, assuming that it keeps being a top-selling game. Obviously, I think Nintendo presumed there might be a point where it stops being a top-selling game, and that might be when they want to remove it. I don't know. I don't know why Nintendo wants to remove this game at all. Outside of the potential idea of selling each game individually, whether at 20 bucks a pop or whatever. Maybe, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure uh, what their plans would be. Uh, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars is clearly a, a top-selling game that should, shouldn't just vanish, I guess. Um, but what's interesting is, obviously, we know that they're using emula emulation for these games. And Mario Galaxy obviously looks... Um, the most polished, I, I would say, when it comes to this collection because it's already a more modern Mario game that in HD, without having to do much work, already looks fantastic and the controls aren't as hard to remap over as they are for other games. And plus, you know, in games like Mario 64, it really could use some updates. Uh, in particular, it could really use a free roam camera. I don't know why they didn't put in the work to make that happen uh, outside of the fact that, you know, it appears they put this together in six months. So maybe they just didn't have the time anyways. Um, so there, there's some things that, that need to happen for super Mario galaxy two, uh, to come. Um, and one of those things is the demand for the game. I don't think Nintendo is stupid. Okay. Nintendo might make baffling decisions at times. They might not have fixed Joy-Con Drift, for crying out loud. But they're not stupid. They like money. They are like any other multi-billion dollar business. And remember, they are a multi-billion dollar business. They are the richest company in Japan currently in terms of just cash on hand. The thing is, they like money. They've always liked money. Remember that the whole point of Nintendo's existence is to make money. I know we could talk about their family friendliness. We could talk about um, them caring about gaming or caring about this or caring about that or caring about people's health with all those reminders that, hey, you know, if you played for a while, hey, why don't you take a break? Like, we could talk about how much Nintendo cares. 
But at the end of the day, they make products to make money. They make decisions on the products they make based on the amount of money they make with those products. So, as an example, if Metroid Prime 4 flops, we might not get a new Metroid game for a hell of a long time, if ever. It might join F-Zero and others in the annals of Nintendo history and never be revisited. Why? Because Nintendo likes money, and they're not going to keep spending money to make things that lose money. Does that make sense? I think it makes a lot of sense. So, when it comes to Mario Galaxy 2, there is clearly high demand for that game. Extremely high demand. Nintendo has seen this demand. Don't think they don't. A lot of YouTubers, in particular, that have talked about it. I know personally there are Nintendo employees watching their content. I actually know personally there is a couple Nintendo employees that watch my content. It doesn't change what I cover. It doesn't change how I cover. But I know they watch social media. They watch YouTube. They pay attention to Twitter. They see the trending. They pay attention. Nintendo is acutely aware of consumer demand for certain products they make. Why do you think we have Super Mario 3D All-Stars in the first place? They were acutely aware of what the demand would be like for these games. Hence why they made the collection in the first place. Hence why they didn't even, you know, like remaster them or anything crazy. Because they knew the demand would be so high just to have these games in HD that they wouldn't need to put in that kind of work to get very similar sales. Nintendo is acutely aware as a business what we want. Because of that, they are not stupid. They have seen the demand for Mario Galaxy 2. And uh, yeah, I have a very good feeling, very strong feeling uh, from those I've talked to that Nintendo is currently working on Mario Galaxy 2, putting it into HD. They are going to release it as a solo release. When are they going to release it? I don't know. Will it be available physically? I don't know. But it sounds like at some point, likely in 2021, we are going to see Mario Galaxy 2 on Nintendo Switch in HD. Now, you can consider it as a $30 DLC pack if you want. You can consider it as a standalone game. Whatever you want to consider it as, it certainly seems like it's coming because Nintendo isn't stupid. They didn't make these emulators, custom emulators for the Switch, for these games, just for these games. They're going to use them on other titles that they feel like they can sell. And Mario Galaxy 2 will sell. Is it going to sell as well as 3D All-Stars? Of course not. But can it top the eShop charts for a couple of weeks? Can it move 500 to a million, maybe a couple million in sales? Absolutely. And that, folks, for as lazy as people want to say these ports are, they spent six months, lazy ports, what they do, like two months per, per game or whatever. However you want to view that they did these ports, if they can do two months of work to port Mario Galaxy 2 to Switch and sell a couple million units and make a ton of profits, why wouldn't Nintendo do that? Ask that question. Why wouldn't they do that? Whether or not it's DLC for 3D All-Stars, which clearly, if you look at the menu of 3D All-Stars, it looks like there's definitely room to add more games if they would like. Maybe even originally had planned to have more games than that menu currently has. But on the surface, it looks like Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy, after Nintendo finally does pull the game, will likely re-release those games individually anyways. And with that being the likely outcome long haul with these games, at least individually on the eShop, Mario Galaxy 2 is going to be one of those games as well. Mark my word, as much as Metroid and Zelda are going to dominate next year's headlines, because they should, it's their anniversaries, Mario's going to be there too. I don't know if it's going to be an Odyssey 2, but I'm very, very certain by the end of next year, we're getting Mario Galaxy 2. I just know it. I just, you know, you can hold me to it and call me, um, you know, call me out next year. I, I implore you, if we do not get Mario Galaxy 2 in HD on Switch next year, by the end of the year, <laughs> I I want people to call me out. I, and, I mean, don't be mean about it, right? Like, I don't think there's a point of being mean about things. But call me out. Remind me that, hey, you were wrong. Okay. I'm not right about everything. It's just a feeling. It's a feeling. I feel like 
there's lots of logical reasons for it to happen. And I feel like Nintendo is very, very intelligent as a company and knows some easy millions they can make when they see it. All right, folks, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Do you want Mario Galaxy 2? Do you think it's, you know, not happening? Do you expect it to happen, but just later as an individual release? Do you think it'll be DLC? Uh, let me know, because I, this is one of the most interesting topics we've had on our channel uh, for the last month or so, is this Mario Galaxy 2 stuff. Because, frankly, Mario Galaxy 2 is my favorite of the Galaxy games and my second favorite 3D Mario game. So forgive me for wanting to talk about this game and wanting to hype it up and wanting it to be on the platform, because, um, hello, it's my second favorite 3D Mario game. Of course I want it. And now that I see such an easy path for us to have it, Nintendo, you better be making that happen. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel Rumpel, Jance from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter our two current giveaways going on, and I will catch each and every one of you in the next video.